Cyclists are recovering today, one still in the hospital in critical condition after Anne Arundel County police say they were hit by an impaired driver on Saturday. Yeah, and this highlights a number of recent bike crashes in that county, and police are letting the public know tonight that there are laws that people need to be following when they're sharing the road. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer joins us live from County Police Headquarters with that story. Lowell. Yeah, good evening. Police tell us that in the past couple of days since Thursday, actually, there have been five accidents here in Anne Arundel County involving bicycles and automobiles. And now with summer in full swing, police are reminding motorists and bicyclists, bicyclists that they must share the roads to avoid more tragedies. It all just started as a normal Saturday. We went out to get breakfast, decided to take our bikes out on the trail. For 27-year-old Todd Green and his 23-year-old girlfriend, Katie Poehler, it was supposed to be a fun bike ride near the Annapolis waterfront. Instead, it was ruined by what police say was a drunk driver. Green and Poehler were riding in a designated bike lane on Route 450 near Bryce Lane in Annapolis when police say a 2011 Nissan Ultima, driven by 54-year-old Robin Colbert, drifted into the right shoulder, striking both cyclists. We, we had no idea what happened. I think when I got in the ambulance and into the helicopter, it occurred to me there's only one thing that could have happened is that we got hit. Green and Poehler were airlifted to shock trauma where Poehler remains in critical but stable condition. She smiled at me. <laughs> So she's laughing. Um, she's trying to talk. She's getting better every day. Everybody's pulling for her family, and her friends are there. Police blame the crash on driver error, but say that Colbert had a blood alcohol level of 0.15. With this now being the fifth automobile versus bicycle crash in Anne Arundel County since last Thursday, Monday, police called a news conference to stress bicycle safety on the roads. As if you ask any cyclist their biggest fear, they'll tell you. I think our biggest fear is distracted drivers. We're afraid of that guy texting. Anne Arundel County summer, Police Chief Kevin Davis pointed out that cyclists are allowed to be on any road that is 50 miles per hour or less and that motorists must leave a three foot distance when they pass. If you can safely pass that bicyclist with the three foot buffer, you, you can certainly do so. But if you can't safely do so, you cannot pass. That bicyclist. In the meantime, as far as Todd and Polar, he says he's not going to let this incident keep him or his girlfriend off the road. We're always open to doing new adventures every weekend, whether it's biking or kayaking. And I know once she's back on her feet that we're going to continue to do that. And, you know, she's fearless, so she'll be fine. Now, police tell us so far Robin Colbert has not been charged as the state's attorney's office is reviewing this case. Those charges, we're told, should come down at any time as they are pending. And for more information on bicycle safety, you can log on to our website, WBALTV.com. We're live at Anne Arundel County Police Headquarters in Millersville tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News. Lowell,